The Turtles are an American rock band led by vocalists Howard Kalin and Mark Volman, later known as Flo and Eddie. The band became notable for several top 40 hits beginning with their cover version of Bob Dylan's It Ain't Me Babe in 1965. They scored their biggest and best-known hit in 1967 with the song Happy Together. History, the band, originally a surf rock group called The Crossfires, was formed in 1965 in Westchester, California, by Howard Kalin and Mark Volman. With the help of KRLA and KFWBDJ and club owner Reb Foster, the Crossfires signed to the newly formed White Whale Records and adhering to the prevailing musical trend, rebranded themselves as a folk rock group under the name The Titles, the intentional misspelling inspired by The Birds and The Beatles. However, the trendy spelling did not survive long. As with The Birds, The Turtles achieved breakthrough success with a Bob Dylan cover. It Ain't Me Babe reached the Billboard Top 10 in the late summer of 1965, and was the title track to the band a Euro unregistered trademark S first album. Their second single, Let Me Be, reached a top 30, while their third hit, You Baby, charted in the top 20 in early 1966. The band's second album, You Baby, failed to reach Billboard's top LPs chart, and of several singles released in 1966, Grim Reaper of Love, and Can I Get to Know You Better barely entered the Billboard Hot 100. One single, The Tough Outside Chance, written by Warren Zevon, and featuring guitar work in the style of the Beatles' Taxman didn't chart at all. In 1966, the Turtles made an appearance in Universal's Beach Party spy spoof film Out of Sight, singing She'll Come Back on Screen. At the start of 1966 drummer Don Murray and bassist Chuck Paws quit the group. They were replaced by Joel Larson and then John Barbata on drums, and by Chip Douglas on bass. In 1967, rhythm guitarist Jim Tucker left the band, allegedly after being publicly insulted by John Lennon when the group were in England on a promotional tour. Tucker, a Beatles fan, apparently never got over the experience and quit the group and their music business. The first of several Key Turtles singles co-written by Gary Bonner and Alan Gordon, Happy Together, seemed almost a parody of itself, and had already been rejected by countless performers. Happy Together, both their biggest hit and their signature song, signaled a turning point for the Turtles and for Chip Douglas, who provided the arrangement. The single replaced the Beatles' Penny Lane at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in the spring of 1967. The Turtles' only No A1 remained there for three weeks. An album of the same name followed and peaked at No A25. Happy Together reached number 12 on the UK singles chart. This same year saw the Turtles performing the title song for the 20th Century Fox Bedroom Farce, A Guide for the Married Man. Impressed by Chip Douglas's studio arrangements, Monkey Michael Nesmith approached him after a Turtles show at the Whiskey A Go Go and invited him to become the Monkey's new producer, as that band wanted to break out of their manufactured studio mold. Douglas accepted and left the Turtles. 1967 proved to be the Turtles' most successful year on the music charts. She'd Rather Be With Me reached number three on the US charts in late spring and actually our charted Happy Together overseas, reaching number four in the UK. Two successive top 15 songs followed, You Know What I Mean, and She's My Girl. Both 45s signaled a certain shift in the band a Euro unregistered trademark S style. Golden Hits was released later that year, charting in the top 10. The similar album covers for the Turtles. Golden Hits and its follow-up More Golden Hits were designed by Dean Torrance of Jan and Dean. The first two singles in 1968, Sound Asleep and the story of rock and roll, stalled somewhere in the middle of the top 100. The band's fortunes changed when Chip Douglas returned to work with them in the studio. Late in 1968 the band released a concept album called The Turtles Present the Battle of the Bands, in which the group pretended to be 11 different bands, each with a song in a different genre. The album yielded two singles, Eleanor, and You Showed Me. Eleanor also reached No A7 in the UK chart. The 1969 hit You Showed Me had been written by Bird's Gene Clark and Roger McGuinn in 1964. 
Television appearances in 1968 include a February 26 visit to The Mike Douglas Show, to which they returned in April 1969. Towards the end of 1969, the group released its next album, Turtle Soup, a critically well-received LP produced by Ray Davis of The Kinks. Inspired by the revered 1968 concept album The Kinks of the Village Green Preservation Society, this was to be a Euro unregistered trademark S only production work for another band. Notable tracks include Somewhere Friday Night and Love in the City. In spite of Turtle Soup's positive reception from the music press, its commercial success was marginal and the band soon began to disintegrate. Long disillusioned with their record label and its growing financial problems by this time, Kaylin and Volman resisted White Whale's efforts to turn the Turtles into something approaching an assembly line pop act. The label apparently encouraged Kaylin and Volman to fire the rest of the band, tour with hired musicians and make records by adding their vocals to backing tracks recorded by Memphis session players. Such pressure did convince the band to record a single called, Who Would Ever Think That I Would Ever Marry Margaret?, which they disowned after its release. The Turtles wound down their career in 1970 with a second compilation album, More Golden Hits, and a B-Sides and Rarities album, Wooden Head. With the demise of the Turtles, White Whale Records was left with few, if any, commercially viable bands, and ceased operation. Post-Turtles, Kaylin and Volman joined the Mothers of Invention as the Fluorescent Leech and Eddie, since the use of the Turtles' name was prohibited by their contract with White Whale. Flo and Eddie, as they soon became known, recorded albums with the mothers, appeared in Frank Zappa's film 200 Motels in 1971 and later released a series of records on their own. Kaylin and Volman sang backing vocals on several recordings by T-Rex, including their worldwide hit Get It On, and albums Electric Warrior and The Slider. When White Whale's master recordings were sold at auction in 1974, the duo won the Turtles' masters, making them the owners of their own recorded work. In the mid-1970s, they had their own syndicated radio show called Flo and Eddie by the Fireside, which originated from KMET in Los Angeles. In the 1980s, they began hosting their own radio show on KROQ-FM in Los Angeles and WXRK in New York City and recorded soundtrack music for children's shows like The Care Bears and Strawberry Shortcake. 1982 saw the re-release of the Turtles' original albums through Rhino Records. The following year, Howard Kalin appeared in the rock and roll comedy film Get Crazy, starring Malcolm McDowell and Daniel Stern. Kalin played the part of Captain Cloud, a spiritual guru, leader of a caravan of time-lost, gypsy-like hippies. In 1980, Flo and Eddie performed backing vocals on Alice Cooper's Flush the Fashion LP. They also sang back up on Bruce Springsteen's Hungry Heart, from his album The River, and contributed backing vocals to the debut album from British new wave band Espionage titled Espionage produced by Roy Thomas Baker released in 1983 by A&M Records. In 1983 Kaylin and Volman legally regained the use of the Turtles name and began touring as the Turtles, featuring Flo and Eddie. Instead of trying to reunite with their earlier bandmates, they began featuring all-star sidemen who had played with different groups. That year also saw the debut of the previously unreleased Shell Shock album, as well as a new Greatest Hits CD, 20 Greatest Hits, both released by Rhino. The latter compilation was followed up in 1988 with another, Turtle Wax, The Best of the Turtles, Volume 2, which featured the best of their album tracks, and previously neglected single B-sides. In 1987, Kaylin and Volman appeared in a new music video of their song Happy Together to promote the romantic comedy Making Mr. Right, starring John Malkovich. The 1989 debut album by hip-hop combo De La Soul featured an uncredited sample from the Turtles, in the song Transmitting Live from Mars. Kaylin and Volman sued, winning a large settlement, setting a legal precedent, and causing the music industry to begin carefully crediting sampled works on future rap and other recordings. As they explained, we don't hate sampling. We like sampling. If we don't get credit, we sue, and all that stuff comes back to us. 
It was incorrectly reported in 2009 that Volman is currently involved in another lawsuit against rapper Gucci Mane for an unauthorized sample. The sample of Keep It Warm used in Lemonade was cleared legitimately prior to the release of the song. In that same year, the romantic comedy Happy Together premiered. It starred Patrick Dempsey and Helen Slater. The Turtles recording of Happy Together was featured in the film as well as the soundtrack album. Music Club Records released a Turtles anthology in the UK in 1991, Happy Together, The Best of the Turtles. Repertoire Records in Germany released their own compilation, titled Eleanor, in 1993, as well as re-releasing the original Happy Together album. Rhino Records also presented Captured Live, a greatest hit live album at their 1992 tour, that year. Sunday's Records re-released all of the Turtles' original albums in 1994, and in 1999 Vara Say Saraban released Happy Together, the best of White Whale Records, which included many of the Turtles' singles. In 2002 the film adaptation uses Happy Together extensively as a device to portray the closeness of the two brothers Kaufman, both played in the film by Nicolas Cage and closes with the Turtles' version over the final credit scroll and time-lapse photography. In 2009, a new Turtles compilation CD was issued titled Save the Turtles, The Turtles' Greatest Hits, which was issued on their own Flow Edco label and distributed by Manifesto Records. During the summers of 2010 through 2014, the Turtles featuring Flo and Eddie toured throughout the United States as part of the Happy Together, 25th Anniversary Tour, 2010, Happy Together, 2011, Happy Together 2012 etc. They performed alongside various other pop acts from the 1960s era. The Grassroots, Mark Lindsay, The Buckinghams, Gary Puckett and Monkees member Mickey Dolenz. The 2014 Happy Together Tour features artists from other 1960s and 1970s bands Sayuro Mitch Ryder, Chuck Negron, Mark Farner, along with Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Members, Discography Studio Albums, Wooden Head was an album composed of unissued recordings, circa 1966. Chorlin Road gathered together many unissued and 45-only tracks. Shell Shock was a construction of an album recorded in 1969 that remained unfinished. See also 1967 in music, references, notes. External links, official website.